and I'm watching the rise And I wouldn't say I'm shocked cause I'm hardly surprised This one's for the ride, this one's for who knew I'd make it, just needed some time You guys, hello, happy Thursday I'm in the heart of Wrigleyville, near Wrigley Field where the Cubs play And today's video, made possible by the one and only Matt Verde Chest bump, chest pop Chest slap, whatever. Matthew wants me to get Korean food that I've never had, and I have walked by, driven by, been in and out of the businesses next to rice and bread, and so today is finally the day. So I have a very special relationship with this intersection because I used to be on a house sketch comedy improv team here where the Newport Theater is here now, used to be called Under the Gun Theater, and then I used to do a lot of sets at the Underground Lounge on like Monday and Tuesday nights, so those two theaters I love. And then right around the corner is probably top five of my favorite bars in Chicago, the Nisei Lounge, which is one of the bars I went to when I did the Chicago Handshake. Little mini documentary I filmed where I had to do five old styles and five malorts in one day on a bar crawl. For my wedding, I'm literally registering for one thing, and it's just one of those those old style signs that hangs off buildings. That's all I want. How's it going? Uh, I just did an order online for Sean. Oh, one of those? Oh, perfect. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. Have a great day. The efficiency in this city with takeout food is ridiculous. If it's real, then you know it's real. So, let's have a for the real I have not had beef bulgogi, bibimbap, and... Wait, I don't think I've ever had it. I think I've only, I think I've only had pork. Oh, that's definitely true. Uh, let's do this. Whoa, that air is blasting. Hello and welcome to another episode of Sean's First Time Eating. This is my first ever beef bulgogi bibimbap. Wow, beef bulgogi bibimbap, beef and bulgogi bibimbap. I have only ever had a pork Bibimbap. Today, a takeout bibimbap, normally something I get in restaurant. Thanks to Matthew. Maddie, Maddie V. It was 55 degrees when I woke up. It is 82. <laughs> Summer Sean has officially been activated. And yes, in every single season of the year, I will be corny. <laughs> and it will be loud in Chicago. Holy the f is this thing? Look at this thing. What is that? It's a street sweeper with tubes! If you ever come to Chicago, certain days, Chicago, there's these massive trucks with these little like spinning brooms on them and they clean the streets. Anybody who watches this vlog daily, who lives in Chicago and is a normal human being and doesn't work a traditional 9 to 5, because it's 1.45 in the afternoon on a Tuesday, I really wanted to stop at the patio, the little beer garden at Sheffield's, but I, who's available right now, you know? Basically what I'm saying is, do you guys want to get a beer with me right now? Yeah! God, Pop! Yeah. God, God! Yeah. What is that? <laughs> Finally parked, AC's blasting. It's a beautiful day in Chicago. Matthew donated $50 for this review. He's a huge advocate of stupidity and videography, and I love you for it. Then he also, a couple weeks later, donated $100 and wrote, Get a new toaster. <laughs> also, maybe a hooker. Listen, if your toaster can't double as a hooker, you're not creative, okay? But mostly a toaster. <laughs> then use the change to put toward the other donation I did. Don't forget a cannoli for the fiance. Matthew, I'm so very excited to say that today's was kind of a two-parter, a twofer, if you will, because last night I went to Dorchio pasta bar in Chicago with Allie, and your money paid for our dessert. So boy did I look cool, shelling out the big bucks on Venmo for the cannolis. Look at these pieces, pieces of gorgeousness. Allie cannoli bun. And then we also each got an off gato. It's like an espresso and ice cream. You pour the espresso over it. And I didn't want espresso, so I got Amaro because I'm always trying to throw in alcohol into my desserts. <laughs> I should talk to someone. So the fiance was very excited about that. So desserts, Matthew Verity, all because of you. And then today, we got a big old bibimbap from Rice and Bread. And this is one of those places I never would have done, ever, 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 if it wasn't for a donation. I've heard it's good. It's got damn near like a four and a half star on Google. But there's so many Korean restaurants and there's so many American Korean hybrid restaurants and I've always wanted to try their bibimbap. So today's the day. All thanks to you. Good luck. Take luck. Take 
Lock! Take lock and care! You know I love a good Wikipedia definition. Some of you guys won't know what bibimbap is. Let's define it. The term bibim means mixing rice, while the bap, bop or bap, noun refers to rice. Bibimbap, bap, is served as a bowl of warm white rice topped with namul or kimchi and gojujang, soy sauce, or donjang. Man, I'm white. Photos online, like you'll see this, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let's see how a takeout bibimbap is because you'd think just that stuff in rice would be easy to do, but it's so pretty when it's done in restaurants. Let's get it popping. Literally, we're gonna pop this top. Is that okay? Damn, for takeout looking good. Got that over easy egg. You can see the beef bulgogi. You got some carrots. What are those? Some like some little mini cucumbers. What are those? We got the white rice. Is this kimchi down here? This is looking and smelling fresh and delicious and dare I say healthy. It also came with this red sauce here that we'll be trying obviously because I'm me. What do you guys think? You excited? Korean food for me is a cuisine I don't get nearly as much as I want to. And when I do get it, I tend to get Korean fried chicken, which is one of their signature items. And I just don't get bibimbap a lot. My buddy Eddie from back home, my college roommate who was like just way more cultured than me for some reason, <laughs> he would always turn me on to new foods. Like he got me into sushi, he got me into Thai food, he got me into Korean food. So Eddie, shout out to you my friend, um, for making me not fear foods when I was coming out of the you know, 19, 20 year old stage of my life where I only had steak and potatoes. This meat looks so tender, want a little bite of everything. Am I gonna burn my mouth? And am I gonna regret it? Matthew, thank you so much. I ordered that toaster. Uh, it was on back order, so it'll be here soon, and we'll do a full unboxing and toastering for you, my friend. Thank you for all the support. Unreal. What is it about Asian cuisine that finds a way to make vegetables as appealing as meat? America don't do it well. Korean food? These carrots and whatever the hell that green like little mini cucumber thing is, tender and flavorful and so packed with seasoning. That rice is dumb. Hmm. Oh my god. When you get this in the restaurant, it comes in like a specific bowl, almost like a mortar and pestle bowl, like stonish. People will know better than I do. And the rice on the bottom almost like it's still cooking and it gets really crispy. And you kind of mix everything together and like really scrape it up. So it's a little different experience having it inside the restaurant. Oh, that smells spicy, huh? Matthew doing a donation the best way you can do. Just telling me a cuisine to get. I get it. Buying me a new appliance and then also buying my fiance cannolis. Uh, Hall of Fame status? Or are you now the president, CEO, CFO of my life? All the above, cool. Oh yeah, that's like the sauce that comes with bibimbap. It's spicy, but super sweet and sugary too. You guys should get Korean food for dinner tonight. And if you already ate, get a second dinner because I gave you permission. This is so good. I have thought about going to that restaurant so many times since like 2015. I'm not joking you when I say I've walked by it 400 times and never gone in there. That is such an iconic intersection of the north side. Yesterday in the vlog I talked about how I'm gonna start doing shout outs the day after they come in for people that just tip the show or don't want a specific food thing to be reviewed. It's just to help the show, like, because that helps me so much continue to do this. Somebody who donated, they want something but it's not its own episode, so I'm gonna say it. Benjamin Braun, $40, get yourself some sons. For the people that watched my Lunchables episode and how I said I wanna start getting Capri Suns going forward, this $40, Good luck again. That is the Capri Sun Fund, starting at $40. So Ben, thank you. And we've also got a donation from Benita Yonosik, $15. I'm a friend of Darcy Deming, who's a big fan of the show and I love, and she's sending me more Stone Cold Steve Austin Broken Skull Lagers. She loves your show, so I had to see for myself. Thumbs up, thumbs up, keep entertaining. Benita, thank you. And then a few other donations came in for people that want episodes, so we'll keep those secret until they until they come out, but man, you guys have been so supportive and so amazing. Let's eat some egg in my car. <laughs> Weird transition. What's your guys' experience with Korean food? Let's chat Korean food today. What do you like? Do you ever get the fried chicken? What should I get? It's a cuisine I don't, I have only had a handful of times. I would love your opinions. I don't think I've ever had rice cooked this well, especially for takeout. 
My God, you guys, what are we doing here? I know you guys aren't stupid, you know Chicago's a big city, but I can be anywhere in the city and just type Korean food, and within two minutes, I can drive there. Like, truly the amount of restaurants and the variety of restaurants in this city is overwhelming, overwhelmingly, adverbs, a joy. <laughs> Talk better. Mm, 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 mm. This sauce that it comes with, this bibimbap, so unique and so great. I'm on a busy street too, and people are all just walking by, looking in the car, and being like, what in the world? Like, I'm at work right now. Just kidding, this is a hobby. Rice and bread, though, on the napkin scale, I'm giving you like a 33% out of 100. You're failing, you need to get this signed by your parents. One napkin? What, am I coordinated? <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of like the Korean skillet, if you will. Cheers. This whole thing, by the way, for takeout, 15 bucks. There's sticky rice, and then there's however they prepared this. Somehow, they should teach a class or host a TEDx or something. And, you know, and... All right, I'm taking the rest of this home. I really can't put into words how incredible that was and will continue to be. The only thing I will say, I wish there was a little more beef in that. Like, it was little small pieces, that's fine, but I feel like there should be kind of a mound of it, you know? I was gonna chug the whole thing, but ugh, I thought I was gonna throw up. <laughs> How in the world is it May 19th already? What's going on with this year? I say that every year. This year is flying by, except for the COVID year. I was like, this year is crawling by. <laughs> Matthew Verde. Verde. Oh, like Verde, like would be green. Matthew Green, if the I was an E, it doesn't matter. Matthew Verde, May 19th, donation notebook. I like this comment a couple days from Gervin H. Did you just see Booger Burr by so. That Michael Vick over there? I got a new name for the donation book. It's Sean's Handy Dandy Donation Handbook. I don't know, I am pretty lit right now, so good video, maybe this gets a chuckle, who knows. <laughs> I like that people just are lit watching these videos. <laughs> Been there. Matthew, once again, thank you so much for the food. Thanks for the toaster. Thanks for pleasing my girlfriend, Orly, with cannolis. I'll be honest, I should cut that out of the edit, but I'm not going to. <laughs> the Venmo, the cash out, the PayPal. If you want to see this show continue, this vlog, every single day of 2022, I'm going to make videos until the donations stop coming in. It started off as a one month thing. We're on month five. Insane. If you want a shout out in tomorrow's video, tip the show. It goes a long way. I'll shout you out. Write me a little note or don't. Stay hydrated. Stay hungry. Beef bulgogi bibimbaps up. Beef bulgogi bibimbaps down. What the f is that? I think that was a COVID at home, like drive up testing car. What?